Welcome to another episode of Pharaoh Functions, where we give you a behind the scenes glimpse at what it takes to keep Pharaoh functioning. In this video, we continue talking about water flow. In water flow part two, we showed how the water enters the building into our two settlement tanks. From this point on, all of the water flow movement is relying on gravity. Water essentially falls through these two inch PVC pipes. In the aquarium, you may have noticed these pipes along the wall. We use the insulation covers to help minimize condensation on the pipes. To get water to the exhibits, we use PVC fittings to reduce the two inch PVC pipe to the three quarter inch ball valves. The ball valves allow us to adjust the amount of water being sent to each exhibit. The water flows through the vinyl hose or clear flexible PVC hose, depending on what we have available, and goes into the exhibit. Just like the hose and pipes at the pump, these pipes require constant cleaning due to biofouling. So every year, volunteers help clean the pipes. To do this, we must bring down all of the two inch pipe. Luckily, the pipe is cut into manageable pieces and the pieces are held together by a rubber coupling. Though that doesn't mean this is an easy task. It does require getting into some awkward positions and having to do some balancing acts. All pieces are taken outside to be cleaned. When it comes to biofouling in the pipes, the culprits could be tube worms, gooseneck barnacles, acorn barnacles, mussels, tunicates, or sponges. In this pipe, you can see just how much the sponge has reduced the opening for the water to flow. Our main cleaning tool is other PVC pipe. A volunteer was kind enough to adapt this PVC coupling to give it more cutting power, and we use it a lot. The modified PVC coupling works really great at scraping the sides of our two inch PVC pipe and getting it nice and clean. However, it does still take quite a bit of elbow grease, especially if there is a really good clog. Smaller PVC or tubes are used to clear out the smaller openings, such as the three quarter inch ball valves. This year, we decided to try a bit more power, but don't tell my mom I borrowed her pressure washer. What really gives the pressure washer its oomph for cleaning the pipe is the specialized jetter head. It is a sewer and drain jetter which has three nozzles angled backwards and one forward. This worked really well for the sponges and the worms, though we found we were still having to use our PVC jabbing to get the barnacles. With a combination of the pressure washer and our PVC scraper, we were able to get the pipes pretty nicely cleaned, as you can see here. This particular pipe definitely had a pretty significant biofouling. We never really know what we're gonna find when cleaning out the pipes. This year, we found quite a few tube worms, a nice cluster of gooseneck barnacles, a couple of decorator crabs, and even a kelp crab with a pretty significant size. Once the inside of the pipes are all cleared out, we give the PVC pipe a good rinsing, both inside and outside. And then we take all of the pieces back into the aquarium. Last but not least, we get the fun task of putting the puzzle pieces all back together. These pipe cleaning days are just one of the days where I feel overwhelmingly grateful for our volunteers couldn't do it without them. Thanks for watching part three of Pharaoh Functions Water Flow. Part four will be our last installment where we get to show you what happens when the water leaves the exhibit.